Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the next lesson. All right, today we're going to learn about body parts. Um, are you ready? Don't get overwhelmed. It's quite easy. Uh, just take it one by one and I have spelled it out at the bottom of the screen for you so you can take a look and, and pronounce it with me. All right, now the first word is sar, sar, which means head. Sar, sar. You can also say kala. However, it's a lot more appropriate to say sar. So you would say saram dardara. My head hurts. And not to worry, I will teach you how to say that in the next uh, videos coming along down the path, okay? Right now, we're just going to focus on the body part vocabulary words for today. The next word is pishani. Pishani. Pishani, which means forehead. Pishani. Now, I'm going to say it a little slower to help you pronounce it better. Pishani. Pishani. But if you're speaking with somebody, you don't slow down and you don't say it in that way. Uh, there's no pause in between because it would sound really weird. So you just say pishani. Okay? Pishani. All right. The next word is bini. Like those beanie bags. Bini. And that means nose. Bini. Bini. All right? The next word is lab. Lab. Lips. Lab. Lips, lab, lips. The next one is zanak, zanak. All right, don't worry. I know, I know you hear the k in there. I know, but don't worry. Even if you say zanak, it's okay. We're getting there in step one. It is hard to pronounce the k, especially if you're not a native speaker, uh, but it is pronounced zanak. Even I myself, the way I've spelled it for you, it is hard to get the k in there. So I think hearing it is making it a lot easier. Zanak. Zanak, which means chin. Zanak. All right. Next one. The eyes are the windows to the soul. All right. I totally forgot and skipped over. Chishim. Chishim. Chishim, which means eyes. Chishim. Chishim. All right. Chishim. That means eyes. Now, eyelashes. Mija. 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 I'm saying it slow so you guys can understand um, what it sounds like in a slow version and you're able to um, and you're able to pronounce it properly. Mija. Mija. And I'm giving you the singular form. I'm not giving you the plural. I will give you the plural next time. But singular form is mija. Eyelash. All right. Next word. Don. Don. Mouth. Don. Don, which means mouth. Don. Like the dish soap, Don. But Don means mouth. All right, next word, which reminds me I have a dental appointment tomorrow. Dandon. Dandon. I'm giving you the singular form, singular version. Dandon, which means tooth. Tooth. Dandon. All right. Dandon. Look at how it's spelled at the bottom. And now, again, in conversation, when you're talking with someone, you do not say it in a slow way the way I'm saying it to you. I'm just helping you pronounce it. Uh, I'm saying it slow so it's easy for you to pronounce. You would just say it naturally. Dandon. Dandon. Not dandon. You don't want to put stresses in between because it would sound very weird. <laughs> so you would say dandon. All right? Dandon. Tooth. Now, if you want to say more than one tooth, you want to say all your teeth. Dandonaim. Dandona. Or dandonaim, which we'll talk about that next time. But for now, let's pick, let's stick with the uh, singular forms. Dandon. All right. The next one, zabon, zabon, which means tongue. Zabon, zabon nako. Some of you might wonder what I just said. Uh, zabon nako means don't mouth back to me or don't talk back to me. And usually parents would say that to their kids if the talk if the kids talk back. Um, yeah, so, you know, parents would say zibon nako. So basically, don't talk back to me. That is what the phrase zibon nako means. All right. But anyways, zibon, tongue. I'll, I'll teach you guys the phrases next time. Uh, there'll be a whole lesson on that as well. The expressions that are used naturally um, and culturally. The expressions and... that are used in, in the Afghan culture. All right. Next word. Gosh. 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 Which means ear. Ear, gosh. Very easy, gosh. All right. It's good to learn these words. Obviously, you need these vocabs. 
uh, you to understand these vocabulary words because this is how you will end up speaking and having um, being able to speak naturally with someone. Uh, you need to learn vocabulary. It's really key to speaking any language, of course, right? So try to understand them and try to learn them and try to memorize them and just practice every day. And they're quite easy too. It's not very difficult. There's, there's not a lot of ha in there. <laughs> All right, next word. Glun, glun, glun. I'm just looking at the screen myself here. Glun, glun means throat. Glun. Again, you would when you're speaking with somebody, you don't want to say it slowly, glun, because it sounds really weird. They just look at you and wonder what's going on. You just say glun, glun, glunem dartara. My throat hurts, for example. Glun. All right, and of course I will teach you how to say all that next lessons. Um, once again, we're just going to focus on the vocab. All right, next word. Bazu, which means arms. Arms. Bazu. 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 Uh, the next word we have is dist. Dist, which means hands. Dist. Dist. All right, the next word we have is shana. Shoulders. 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 Shana. Okay? Shana. Shoulders. That's what it means. Next word, bone, bone, the bones in your body, bone, or any bone, actually, any bone, chicken bone, beef bone, bone, stron. All right, I know, we're using the kha, bear with me, but try to pronounce it slowly, and if you can't say the kha, not to worry, um, I know it's not easy uh, to always be able to pronounce the kha, but even if you say it close to that, you got it, so stron, stron. Stron. I'm saying it three times to help you uh, just to understand how it's said and how you pronounce it. Stron. All right, so that is bone. The next one, knees. How do you say knees? Zonu. Zonu. You're probably relieved that there's no ha in there, huh? Okay. Zonu. Zonu. Quite easy. That is knee. Your knees. Knee. Zonu. Of course, once again, singular. Zonu. All right. Next word. Next word is pie. Pie. Pie, which means feet. Pie. Yes, you can think of the pie that you eat in English, but you don't you don't want to say pie cuz then it sounds weird. Pie. All right? That's how you say feet. All right, next word we have is muy. Muy, which means hair. Muy. Muy. See? Very easy, guys. Muy. Muy, which means hair. Muy. All right. Next word we have is nahun. Nahun. Now you see that? Nahun, which means nails. Nahun. All right, everyone, that is it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, practice those body parts um, because they will come in handy when we use them in our sentences when we're communicating. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Till next time. Hold off us.